So you want to change the cabin configuration and or cargo configuration of the Boeing 777 V2 from Flight Factor? Well, this is the video for you. So to change the cabin configuration is very simple. We're going to go ahead and go to the EFB. From the main menu, we're going to select simulation and cabin configuration. Just note, if you realize that the cabin configuration and or cargo hold configuration are grayed out and cannot be selected, this most likely means that the airplane has already been loaded and cannot be unloaded or changed no longer. Let's go ahead and go to cabin configuration and you'll see that you have different styles to choose from that we've pre-selected for you. Based on the configuration you would like to start with or even end with, you can still change the amount of rows you would like to have. Changing the amount of rows will also change the total capacity of passengers that can be loaded onto your airplane. Now let's go into the cargo hold in order to change the cargo configuration. Of course, you do not have to be in that location in order to change it, but I just want to show you the differences that it makes. We'll simply go to shortcuts. Let's go to forward cargo. And we're now in the forward cargo compartment. We're going to go back to simulation, cargo hold configuration, and we can change the configuration here. You'll see that the visual is not much different, but what you can change is what kind of pallets or containers are loaded onto the airplane, which also at the end changes the total capacity of cargo that you can load as well as the operational empty weight.